was the only solution. I can finally be at peace after I leave you kids here. Mom, you're joking, right? You would never do this. So, you want to leave all three of your kids at this adoption center? This was the only solution. I can finally be at peace after I leave you kids here. Mom, you're joking, right? You would never do this. No mom would ever leave her own kids at the adoption center. Uh, I know we're really annoying. Uh, I know we create a lot of problems for you, but we're willing to change. Please, mom, I'm really sorry. I'll do whatever it takes to make it up to you, I promise. Please forgive us. We love you, mom. We really love you. We were planning a surprise party for you yesterday. We wanted to make you feel special. I'm sorry it went the way it did, but we like good intentions. We really love you, Mom. Please don't leave us. Shut up! Just shut up! Even your voice is making my ears ring. I'm made my decision already. I'm not keeping you at the house anymore. I'm leaving you here. I don't care what happens to you now. Your life is your own. You'll probably get adopted into a better family. Family where your parents don't have to deal with that much stress and give you the time and love you need. This is actually a good thing for you kids, so I don't know why you're so sad about it. Because you're our real mom. I want to stay with my real mom, not some other family. We love you, mom. I don't care. It's too late. I'm fed up with you, and I'm leaving you here. So, you want to leave all three of your kids at this adoption center? Yes, I do. Um, all right then. May I please know the reason for your decision? I'm not financially stable enough to raise my kids at this point in time. They're better off than some other family. Alright then, please sign these papers to complete the process. Goodbye kids, have a good life ahead. this. I can't believe mom is leaving us. How could she do something like this? Are you happy now killing Brian? Huh? I guess your Robux was worth more than our family. Stop putting the blame on me for everything. I feel like her leaving us here was a long time coming anyways. It's not just the incident that happened yesterday. She's clearly been fed up with us since the very beginning. Maybe we can still try to go and apologize to her again. We'll apologize even better this time. There's no point, Kale. She didn't even look behind to see us one last time when she was leaving. She's done with us. She's never going to ask about us ever again. It's all over. We have no choice but to stay here now. I guess we're going to find a new family. I'm really sorry for what happened. If you would kindly follow me, I'll take all three of you to your room. We stayed at the adoption center for three weeks without anyone being interested in adopting us, which made sense to me. People were probably looking to adopt really little kids, and we were too old for anyone to want to adopt us. We felt really weird staying at this adoption center because everyone was so much younger than us. We definitely didn't belong here, but mom didn't want to keep us at her house. I don't know if we'll ever get adopted by anyone. We might just end up staying at this adoption center forever. I really hope not. The people here are nice to us, but this isn't the kind of life I want to live. Please, please adopt us someone. Please. I really miss mom. I want to go back to mom. We should apologize to her again. We really should. Why should we, Jess? She was a mean mother, and that's a fact. <sighs> she got tired of us, and she didn't want anything to do with us. We have to stick together. We don't need mom. What, what are you saying? That doesn't sound like something you would say. I've simply accepted the truth. It's time you do too. I've accepted that mom was mean to us because a good mom wouldn't throw all of her anger out at her children on a daily basis. A good mom would love her children and treat them with care and love, which our mom didn't. She was always angry at us, always yelling at us, and always making us feel bad. And what kind of mom leaves their children at an adoption center because she's fed up with us? Would you call that a good mom? You can ask any person and they would 
could say no. So yes, Brian, she was and will be a meanie. Maybe it's a good thing that she left us here because now we have a chance of finding a family that actually cares about us and loves us. You shouldn't be saying those things. Whether she was good or not, she's still our mom. Our real mom. I don't care. I don't want to see her face ever again. I have great news for you. Someone is interested in adopting you. Oh my gosh, really? Finally, finally! I thought we were going to see this adoption center forever. The parents would like to meet you in person. Hey there, kids. Look at you three. You look adorable. Well, then I guess that settles it. We want to adopt him, ma'am. Please, bring the papers for us to sign. Sure, I'll be right back. It's actually happening. We're getting a new family. They're going to be our new parents. Our dad left our family a few years after we were born, so I don't remember him at all. I've never experienced what it's like to have a dad. I'm really excited. They seem like really nice people. I hope they are. Well then, welcome to the family. We're going to treat you the best we can. We promise you that. So how was breakfast, Kale? Mom, why are you even asking? It's amazing! Breakfast is always amazing! It's a hundred times better than my cooking! <laughs> That's amazing! But remember, you're moving out of the city for your job as a lawyer, right? You'll have to cook on your own once you start that job. I won't be there to cook for you. I know, Mom. That's why I'm enjoying your cooking while I still can. <laughs> I can't even imagine you living alone. Your pancakes taste like rocks, and your milkshakes taste like seawater. I wonder how you're gonna survive on your own. I don't think you can. At least I know how to cook, Brian. Why don't you try cooking something? I bet you would burn the house down on your first attempt. <laughs> I don't need to cook anything, because I have my mom. I'm not moving out of the city for my job, unlike you. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? I'm going to be earning twice as much as you, so I'm the one who's going to get the last laugh. You're becoming an assistant professor for cybersecurity. That literally pays nothing. Hey, it's the stars! You have no idea how hard it is to become a professor. I was able to become an assistant professor much earlier than all of my classmates. I'm actually really talented at cybersecurity. And you have no idea how hard it is to become a lawyer. I became a lawyer five years earlier than the average person does. So what's the difference? <laughs> you both are never going to change, are you? You still fight like little children. I feel like the only grown-up here. You have no room to talk, Jess. You haven't even graduated university yet. Leave this conversation to the grown-ups. Well, if you're finally done arguing, you can continue after your breakfast. Mom has to clean the dishes after this. Actually, can I clean the dishes instead, Mom? I want to practice, since I'll be living on my own once I become a lawyer. <laughs> wow, Kale. You're volunteering to clean the dishes on your own? I like the spirit. All right, then. Go ahead. It's good for me. <laughs> funny how fast time flies by. We're already adults now. We're about to get our own jobs. As much as I hate you, Kale, I might miss you a little bit when you're gone. 
Aw, thanks for lying, Ryan. I might miss you a little bit too. Hey, I was being honest. I'm actually going to miss you. I'm going to miss all of our arguments and fights. They actually made my day a lot better. <laughs> it was fun all the time. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. Jeez, Brian. We're still going to visit each other whenever we have holidays or vacations. So don't worry. I'm going to miss you a lot too, Kale. Well then, before you leave today, let's watch a TV show together one last time. What's this on the news? Breaking news! This is Brandon Foster from Channel One. A woman who lived in Brookhaven City has mysteriously disappeared. She's been missing for the past three weeks and there are no sign of her whereabouts whatsoever. Brookhaven police are unable to find even a single clue about her. Her name is Tessa, and this is an image of her. She's one of the owners of Brookhaven Bank, so her disappearance is most certainly alarming and of concern to the city and government. If you see this woman anywhere, please call the authorities immediately. I can't believe this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. That was mom, right? Don't call her mom, Brian. She's not our mom. Our real mom is in this house right now. That's Tessa. And she stopped being our mom ages ago. Kill, I know you're still mad at her for what she did. And I am too. But she looks like she's in real trouble. She's been missing for three weeks? That can't be good. What do you expect me to do? Feel bad about her? Why didn't she feel bad about us when we were crying and begging for her to not leave us at the adoption center? Why didn't she try to take us back home then, huh? I don't care what happens to that woman. It's none of my business. But, Kale, even if she was a bad person, she's still our mom. Our real mom. No one can replace her. Can you really be at peace knowing that she might be in real danger right now? If she's been missing for three weeks, then she's most definitely in danger. No one goes missing for three weeks just like that. We need to do whatever it takes to find her. We might not be able to do much, but we can at least help the cops and the authorities as much as possible and contribute to finding her as soon as possible. Don't even think about it, Jess. I told you, I don't care about what happens to that woman. I don't care where she is, how she is, why she's missing, nothing. It doesn't matter to me at all, okay? I'm done talking about her. Stop being biased. You need to think about this. Like, really think about this, okay? Forget about everything that she did for a second and just think about the fact that you're about to become a lawyer. I know that a lawyer's job isn't to help the cops find missing people or catch criminals, but you still work for the law, right? You believe in bringing justice and helping innocent people as much as possible. And if that innocent person was any other innocent person, you would be willing to help them if it was possible, right? The only reason you don't want to help mom is because you still hold a grudge against her. That's called bias right there. Are you trying to lecture me about the law, Brian? <laughs> I know more about the law than you do, so you don't have to lecture me on how to do my own job. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I can stay in this room for even a second longer, as long as that woman is on TV. I don't feel like staying here at all. I'm going out for a walk. I'll talk to you later. It's really funny how life works, doesn't it? A few minutes after I left the house where I was talking to Brian and Jess, I got a message from my manager that I might have to study the case of a missing person, none other than mom herself. Her disappearance is a really big thing for Brookhaven. Considering how she was one of the owners of the Brookhaven Bank, the government is taking her search really seriously. I'm not sure what my job is going to be as a lawyer, but I'm just going to follow the instructions of my manager and see how it goes. I really don't want to see mom's face again. I always wish that I would never have to, but maybe Brian is right. Maybe I should stop being biased and try to think about this, even though I really don't want to. I have to.
was your first day here? Getting used to living alone already? Uh, not yet, sir. It will take me a bit longer to get used to everything. It's a completely new environment, and I'm living all on my own. Yes, that's understandable. You're still pretty young to be a lawyer, so I imagine this might feel like a lot to take in. Don't worry, though. You'll get used to everything really quickly. You're really bright after all. You're one of the smartest people I've ever seen. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the compliment. Anyways, let's get back to business. You already know that one of the owners of the Brookhaven Bank has been mysteriously missing for the past three weeks, right? The bank was trying to keep it a secret, but the news was eventually let loose. You can't keep a secret like that for so long, right? Anyways, there are some suspects and witnesses involved with her missing, and a lot of lawyers have been hired to question them. You, Kale, are one of those lawyers. It's not a difficult job. You just need to question them and try to get as much objective information from them as possible. All right, sir. I will do my best. Also, there's one more reason why you were called here. Well, I think this reason would be more important to you, and I probably should have told you this sooner. What do you mean, sir? What else did you bring me here for? Well... Tessa used to be your mother before she left you at the adoption center, right? How... how did you know, sir? I know everything, Kale. Anyways, since she is your biological mother, you are directly involved in this case by default. Even if you weren't a lawyer, you'd still be involved in this case. The only thing that matters is whether you're involved in a good way or a bad way. What do you mean by that, sir? I'm not sure I understand. All right, let me just put this straight. One of the people suspected of being involved with the disappearance of Tessa is you, Kale. You and your entire family are under suspicion, considering how you were on bad terms the last time you saw each other. You and your siblings are under very high suspicion, and they're also going to be brought in for police questioning. Wait, what? You can't be serious. 